Hey guys, this is Eddie. A few days ago, I received this Top Dom battery tester and uh, I had got the jump pack uh, not too long ago and I liked it so much that I wanted to get their little battery tester as well. So <clears throat> I've been using it for a few days and uh, I'm going to just show you the couple of things that I've been doing with it. Let you see how easy this thing is to use and uh, it's it seems to be pretty accurate. So let's uh, just go over the details with this a little bit here. There are no internal batteries on this, so it actually uses the battery. Um, and as soon as you hook up the cables to the battery, you'll notice that the, uh, the battery tester comes to life. All right. And uh, I know that this battery has uh, been having some trouble here um, for the past couple of days. I've had it on a charge, just a trickle charge. So I'm going to do a quick test on it just to see where we're at right now. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go in here, uh, do a battery test. AMG flat plate. It is an AMG battery because it, on the side of the battery it says non-spillable. And also um, I checked it online just to see what the cold cranking amps and what type of battery it is. So it is... Uh, AGM flat plate. <clears throat> All right, cold cranking amps is 230. And we're gonna do a test. Um, it was totally dead the, day, the other day. All right, so right now we get 9% uh, health of the battery. The uh, charge is 49% and um, not looking so good. So I'm gonna put it on a charge for the next couple of days. Um, I'm going to give it a boost charge, but anyways, beyond that, the seems, the tester seems to be pretty accurate and, um, I do have an older style, uh, battery tester that, uh, we used to use in the day, much, much bigger clamps, more like a battery charger clamps on this thing than a battery tester, but it is analog and there is, uh, you know, there's a downside to it. There's an upside to it as well. But uh, I figured I'd upgrade this with the new uh, Top Dom battery tester because I wanted something a little bit easier to, to handle and a little bit smaller to, to carry in the car um, if I don't have it in my toolbox. So I just throw it in the glove box and there's plenty of room for it. Um, neat little charger. So let me show you what I've done with it so far. So here's a couple of the videos that I did uh, while I was testing some other batteries and charging systems. I'm gonna do uh, AGM. There, cold cranking amps. Looking at 800 cold cranking amps. Do some testing. Should come up full full battery because it's been on a charge for uh, pretty pretty uh, for a few months here, actually for about a month because spring's coming and I, uh, so it says charge rate is at one hundred percent. E cold cranking amps is uh, six hundred and sixty four, which is good and it tells me that the battery is good. Um, so yeah, seems to be working okay. Let's go, uh, let's go test that other battery now. All right, so I'm gonna do a battery test here. Um, <clears throat> I already have the uh, positive hooked up. Uh, if you look at the battery label right here, you have 410 cold cranking amps, all right? That's uh, what the battery should have to start this engine. So I'll hook up the negative cable here. And I'm going to do a battery test just to see how this battery is. All right, so I'll enter. And we got a battery test. So enter. I want to make sure you guys can see this. All right, so it's a regular flooded battery. All right, so I hit enter. Cold cranking amps, hit enter. 230, you got... Uh, 410 all right 
Then testing. Uh, says good and recharge. So the health of the battery is 79%. The charge is at 44%. Um, car's been sitting for a couple of days, so it yeah, might be down a little bit low. So let's go ahead and do a uh, another test and see if we can back out of here. Test reset. So exit. Okay. So good. Exit out of there. So we're gonna do. Let's try a, a cranking test. Okay, go down, enter, all right, it says start the engine. So one thing I noticed, the cables on this are not very long, um, but I don't think you need to be, you know, you have it the, uh, I don't think you need to have the, the tester in your hand when you're cranking. So let's just, we're gonna start the engine and see what happens. Cranking low, probably because the battery is 50% charged. About and uh, crank time was uh, 3,294 milliseconds. So I don't know if that's good or bad. I really never took that measurement before, but uh, it started. So the battery seems to be okay, and the starter seems to be okay. Not drawing too much. So let's get out of here. Yeah, one thing you can't back out of the start the engine once you're in it. So I think what you have to do, which is not a big deal, just disconnect your clamp for a second, reconnect it. Alright. Now we want to do a charge system test. Sorry about that. Charging system test. Enter. Ripple test. Loading test. Increase RPM to 2500. And keep it for five seconds. Then press enter to continue. Alright, so I think you press enter and I'm gonna go. Charging normal. Uh, Fourteen point sixty one volts. Uh, loaded and unloaded. Ripple one hundred and seventy millivolts. Charging test normal. Okay, let's still see what else this thing can do. So exit out of here. Let's see if we can exit out of here. No. Nope. Oh. Oh, I see. Come on, baby. Alright, so you gotta disconnect the battery again. I mean, disconnect it from the battery. And then, uh, so you can't exit out of these tests when you're in them, which kind of sucks. But a lot of times you're only doing one or two tests, maybe. So let's go in here and see what else you got. Uh, can you review data? Let's see. Oh yeah, so it does save it for from the last from the last time you tested it. It does save it. That's the battery test. It does save the, the cranking test as well. And the charging test. So it does save the last test. So that's a pretty cool uh, function there. Alright, so let's see if we can get out of here. Is there any other things that we save? Same thing. All right. So again, you can't back out of it for whatever reason. So I just disconnect the battery. 
And let's go in and see what else we get for options here. Oh, and then you can change the language. So the charging test, the cranking test, and the battery test all work pretty well. Let's just go in and do one more battery test just to see if, um, if it was accurate. All right, so last time we were in there, we did a battery test. Okay, regular flooded. And, uh, you know, one thing, let's see if I can back up. They have, you know, AMG, AMG Spiral gel battery and uh, EFB, which I don't know what an EFB is. There's a lot of, you know, all the new batteries are coming out. So this has a lot of options for the new batteries. So that's pretty cool. Um, and on the label of, of your battery, it should tell you what type of battery uh, you are testing. All right. So uh, let's just go in and see if this is going to be about the same. It was charged for a few minutes here with the alternator charging it. So it should come out pretty close to being the same. So 82% charge 100%. Isn't that weird, huh? So last time I tested it two seconds ago, it was 49%. Now it's at 100% charge. Um, mm, 370 cold cranking amps. Let's do a little test. I'm going to turn on the headlights and the rear defrost and the blower, blower fan inside the car just to take the surface charge off the battery. All right, so I'm not going to start the engine, all right? So I'm going to wait a few seconds here. Oh, in the rear defrost. I can turn the heated seats on too, just to put a little bit of a load on this battery. And I'm only going to wait like a minute. <laughs> Because I want to see what's going to happen to the battery in that one minute. You know, if you got a dead cell in your battery, and I'm getting off track here, but just to let you guys know, if you've got a dead cell in your battery, sometimes battery testers do not pick that up. Even some of the top of the line battery testers will not pick up a, a dead cell in your battery, which means if, you, if you're driving your car, you stop at a corner store, you run in for a minute to get a six pack of beer or something, and all of a sudden, you get back in your car, it doesn't start, and then you wait a couple minutes, you try it a couple times, and then all of a sudden it fires up like there's nothing wrong, chances are you might have a dead battery. So, and these testers, any tester, I mean, I've used, you know, testers that are, you know, a couple thousand dollars, and they won't pick that up in some instances. So if you have a customer or if you've got a battery that just dies within a couple of uh, a couple of minutes sitting, you might have a bad cell in the battery. Anyways, all right, let's uh, let's shut all this off. All right, so let's exit out of here. Okay, so very little flooded. Cold cranking is four ten. Testing. Now, keep in mind, I didn't have the car running. I just had every, all the accessories on. So, look at So, the battery, I took the <clears throat> surface charge off the battery. It's at 42% again. So, and then the health of the battery is at 70. All right. So, let's start the engine again one more time. And then do another test. Let's. I'm going to start the engine let it run for a minute. All right, so I took the surface charge off the battery. Let's do another test here, see if it's close to what the other uh, ratings were. Battery test, regular flooded, TCA, 410, testing the battery. Might as well do a couple of these just to see if it, if it comes back and it's, see so 74% is the health of the battery with 353 cold cranking amps and the charge is 76%. So it says good battery. So let's exit out of here and do another test just to see if it's consistent. Yep, 
Yep, same same results. All right, so let's do one more just to verify consistency. I like doing this because sometimes battery testers will be all over the place and this verifies whether or not it's uh, consistently testing the battery the same way and if it's getting the same results. I'll tell you if it's a good, yeah. So it's all good. It's a nice little battery tester. So, um, you know, you can check the alternator output. You can also test your starter, make sure that's performing properly. Um, I like the tester. It's a nice little pocket pocket one. It doesn't have a printer, but I mean, for the price point of uh, 56 bucks, I mean, you can't ask for a lot. You're just testing batteries. So, uh, yeah, nice little tester. So all in all, this top-down battery tester, charging set tester, and starter tester, basically you can test the uh, cranking voltage when your engine's starting. It also tells you the uh, time limit on how long it took for the engine to start. Um, charging test, it'll tell you uh, the battery voltage loaded and unloaded, and I'll also do a ripple test on the uh, charging on the alternator. And then on the battery test, it'll give you the uh, cold cranking amps the health percentage of your battery and how uh, how much your battery is charged. Another nice function of this uh, battery tester is the backlit display. Um, if you're testing a battery at night or at dusk or something like that, your display is lit up when you as soon as you connect to the battery. Um, like I said though, this doesn't have any internal batteries, which is a good thing because what what happens with internal batteries is you know if you don't use your tester for a while, uh, they can you know explode or crack open inside here and destroy the the unit itself so not having the batteries is not a bad uh, thing at all it's actually it's actually good another nice thing about this unit is it has a two-year warranty and i had a problem with the jump pack called their customer service department they were really friendly and easy to work with they sent me out a new unit right away so that says something right there about the company so if you have any issues with this that's all you have to do is call the customer service department and they should take care of you. The warranty alone pays for the battery tester. All in all, cool little tester, does everything I wanted it to do. Uh, it will replace the bulky um, old style tester that I have, the analog one. And um, like I said, it's pretty compact, it's lightweight and it's easy to, to store like in your toolbox or something or in your, even in your glove box. So even for a mechanic, if you, uh, you do a lot of testing on batteries out in the parking lot. This thing's nice. You just stick it in your toolbox and uh, grab it. You don't have to carry around anything bulky or anything on wheels. So uh, hope this video helps, guys. Uh, take care. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Take care.